Today we are going to talk about basement classification for cholangiocarcinoma and the operation you are going to perform based on the location of the tumor. This patient has a tumor in the distal bile duct and as you can see it involves the head of the pancreas. So in this case the patient is going to require a Whipple operation. In this scenario the Tumor is in the common hepatic duct, but does not involve the confluence of the right and the left hepatic duct. This is type one. You're going to remove the tumor, and this is what you're gonna end up with. You're going to have a proximal and a distal end. Make sure the frozen sections are negative, and then you're going to close the distal side, and for the proximal, you are going to perform a hepatical jejunostomy. Now, if the patient has a type two uh, cholangiocarcinoma, it means the tumor does involve the confluence. So once you're done removing the tumor, you're going to have the right hepatic duct, the left hepatic duct, the distal part. Again, make sure the margins are negative. You close the distal part. And for the proximal, this patient is going to have a hepatic OJ, but unlike the previous case, there would be two anastomoses one would be the hepatic anastomosis with the right hepatic duct and the other for the left. Now, if this patient has a type 3A, the tumor is in the right hepatic duct. So what you do is this patient would need a right lobe resection with the resection of the right hepatic duct and the common hepatic duct. So again, close the distal end, you're left with the left lobe of the liver, and you're going to perform a hepatic anastomosis with the left hepatic duct. So the operation you perform was a right liver resection and a hepatic jejunostomy with the left hepatic duct. Now this is type 3A. For the type 3B, the tumor is in the left hepatic duct. So you basically have to now resect the left hepatic duct along with the left lobe of the liver. So again, you would have the right lobe of the liver with the right hepatic duct. Again, perform a hepatic ogenostomy for drainage, close the distal end, and the operation you perform was a left lobe resection and a left hepatectomy with a resection of the left bile duct and a hepatic ogenostomy with the right hepatic duct. Now for a type four, the tumor is both in the right and the left and that patient may not be a surgical candidate.